Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's budget video. Today we're gonna be setting up our paycheck budgets for the month of May. And before we get started, I wanted to do a quick update on our current paycheck budget because we actually have not completely closed it out yet. We're still waiting on a couple bills. Today is the 2nd of May, and I have not seen our solar panels or our gym like bills come through yet. Uh, everything else has come through just fine, and we ended up filling up with gas, um, went a little bit over on that, and then we took out piano money and all that. So we're very close to closing out this paycheck budget, but not quite there. So. Anyways, and then on our pay period calendar here, I did set up all of the bills and everything so that will help us put together our paycheck budgets. So to get started, we are going to just duplicate this one right here and we're going to set up two paycheck budgets. So this one is the, whoops, the third so 503 and we'll set this one up first. So for that, we are going to just delete all of this. Um, I'm expecting our salaries to be the same. We haven't really made any adjustments or anything on those. So let me grab my calculator here and we don't have rollover or anything like that for this pay period. Um, let's see, 17.45, 17, so 3, $3,144.75. Okay, and then this is going to be our June mortgage. So I'll write that in. And we're going to erase these. We're going to erase these. All of that. This. All of this. And then down here, this will be the same. We did take out cash, so I'll be uh, stuffing cash envelopes. This we did take out 20. And 20. I already transferred money for, um, to Andrew and I's chime cards. And then we don't need to take out piano for this pay period. So yeah, that takes care of that. And then as far as bills are concerned, don't mind me, I have to tilt this. Um, so we're gonna come over here. Ooh, see, I forget this every time. I can just open it up on my phone. That is by far the easiest thing to do. So let's do that. Put myself on do not disturb as well while I'm at it because I sometimes forget to do that. Okay, pay period calendar and we'll go to May, and I can just reference this on my phone. So how easy is that? So we're looking at all the bills in pink. That is gonna be for the 3rd of May's um, paycheck. So we have the June mortgage in there. We set aside half of our mortgage payment um, each pay period, and then by the end of the month, we'll have the next month's mortgage payment all ready to go. So that's kind of how that works. And we're going to transfer that. I haven't done it yet but we're gonna transfer that on Friday. So there's that first one, and then it looks like we have water and trash due on the 7th. Water and trash. And that amount is 90.23. Then on the 14th, we have Geico Auto, and that's 153.24. Then on the 15th, it looks like I forgot a couple little spots there. On the 15th, 
We have Southwest Gas. And we also have State Farm. Southwest Gas is $29. We also do not, normally we'd have our electric bill, but I received the electric bill and it's negative $35, which means that we actually are owed, I don't know how it works exactly. So we have solar panels. I've talked about this multiple times. If I could go back in time, we would never have gotten them, honestly. Um, I don't think it's much cost savings at all considering how expensive they are. And yeah, we don't have an electric bill, but we still have a $250 <laughs> solar panel payment. So anyways, um, but one of the perks is, you know, we don't owe anything for electricity. So if they were paid off, that would be kind of nice. But then you also have to factor in the overall cost of them and how long it would take paying your electric bill to kind of make up for that. You know what I mean? But anyways, so um, we normally would have an APS electric bill due during this time frame, but we don't this go around it's negative like $35 or something like that. So that's pretty cool. And I think that's it for this pay period. So let's go ahead and do some math here and figure out, I did find one of my calculators, so that's good. My kids tend to steal them quite often. So not very many bills this pay period. So 70, 88, 95 plus 90, 23, 29, 38, 70. So a total of 10012. And then if we subtract our income, it gives us $2,044.63. And and then we come down to our expenses down here. So we have 460. We did bump up our grocery and our household a little bit just based on the prices in our area. Some things have gone up. Our toothbrush heads are absolutely insane. We have the Philips Sonicare toothbrush toothbrush heads and we used to pay I think it was like 40 bucks, something like that. Somewhere between 40 and $50 for our toothbrush heads and on coupon now they were $65 nuts so anyways we did have to raise some of our categories just because the prices are insane right now okay so $80 there and then a hundred twenty sixty and then a hundred for the chime and that should be it so 870 so we'll be able to determine what our extra to the car will be this go around. So 2044. So we have $1,174.63 remaining, but we're going to see if we need any, um, um, any of that for rollover for our next pay period. So we're going to have to take a look at the bills and expenses for the next pay period. If we need to carry over anything from this pay period, then we will. Um, so, but that is what that is looking like. So not too shabby. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go out and we're going to duplicate that paycheck budget and do the next one, which is on the... 17th, so we'll type in 5, 17, paycheck, and we'll get that going. Oh, I forgot to change these dates up here, so this is 5, 17, which is actually my brother's birthday. And then I'll go over here and change these to 503. Now, technically it's a three paycheck month, but I am actually using this paycheck for June because we don't, it's all of the bills are June bills that are going to be for this 31st of May paycheck. So we're really just looking at the 17th and the 3rd, and then I'll use that one on the 31st of May towards June. So hopefully that makes sense. But 
So that's all the same. And then we're going to fill in our bills here. We're gonna still put half of the mortgage on the 17th. And then we will take a look here. So we have a bill due on the 19th for Disney Plus. And that is fifteen eighteen. And then on the twentieth, we have CenturyLink, which is our internet provider, and that is sixty five dollars. And then on the 23rd is Banner Life. That is my life insurance policy, the State Farm one from, I don't know if I explained this. The State Farm um, over here is Andrew's life insurance policy. And that's 2222. World Watch News is due on the 24th. And that amount is $6.99. On the 25th, we have the Sienna. And I'm gonna actually leave that blank because we're gonna be able to put a little extra, t well, actually, no, I'm gonna do the minimum at least. And we should be able to put a little extra to it. So that's a thousand. That's actually the minimum payment plus a little bit extra that we just do. And then on the 27th is T-Mobile, our cell phone provider. And that is 155. Is that pen or is that? Oh, yeah. What is that? You guys see that? Oh, now it went away. Okay. So that's everything for this pay period. Now, piano normally would come from here too, but we get paid on the 31st, and then piano will be due on the 3rd of June. So the piano is actually going to come out of the 31st. So, um, okay, let's add up our bills here. And that's going to be $788.95 plus $15.18. And then $65.22.22. $62.25. There's a total of $2,053.34. And then we'll subtract the income. It gives us $1,091.41 remaining. And then down here, our expenses are gonna be exactly the same. I don't know if we're gonna increase our gas budget or not. We may just leave it, um, but I will erase this because we haven't taken out cash for that pay period yet. Um, but that'll be exactly the same. We just won't have piano. So 870, um, so we'll just add 870. And that gives us $221 and 41 cents remaining. So we do not need rollover from the 3rd of May paycheck. So what I think I'm gonna do, and I'm kinda curious, I think, so, 
Yeah, we shouldn't have many bills. I think we're gonna be, I don't think we'd need rollover for the 1st of June either, or like the 31st of May. So that should be good. Um, and once we have enough of a buffer, and actually we kind of do at this point, uh, in our checking account, we may not even need rollover. Like we can just kind of keep a minimum balance in our checking account is what I'm thinking. And so like if, for example, a pay period needed like something from the checking account, we would take it out of the checking account, that pay period, and then immediately replace it the next pay period, if that makes sense, just to maintain that minimum threshold in our checking account. So yeah, so I think that's looking pretty good. So I think we're going to put all of this, if the pay period goes as planned, towards the Sienna, which is an extra almost $1,200. Plus, we should be able to put this to the Sienna. So that is very exciting. So we'll be doing some extra payments and such. I might just wait to make the payment though. Like, I'll just roll over whatever is here into this pay period and then do like the one big payment closer to like when this is due. I explained this in the last budget video, but when I went on to make the payment, you can't just make extra payments with the bank that the loan is through. You have to like change the auto pay. It's really weird and confusing. <laughs> so um, I will probably just take whatever we have to put towards the van from this pay period take it and add it to this pay period and then just make one big payment. So that's probably what I am going to do there, but that takes care of our paycheck budget. So next we need to do cash envelopes. So I'm gonna pull this up here. Andrew did go to the bank. It is a little confusing because he went to the bank and he went grocery shopping in the same day and he went um, and got a bunch of household items. I needed more razors, we got the toothbrush heads, and then there were a few other things he got from Sprouts, like some soap and random things like that. And then he did get a lot of groceries. So I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to fill up groceries last. I know household is completely gone, so like we didn't even stuff our household envelope. We have nothing for household for the next two weeks, so. There's that, um, but we should be fine. I don't think we need anything. And then babysitting, we can put money in. So we have 10 and 20 for babysitting and we already had 10 in here. So we'll be good to go there. Today is Thursday, so we're gonna use 10 of that tonight for babysitting and then we'll have uh, 20 for the next couple weeks. So that takes care of that one. For Mando and Cara, we're gonna put 60 in here and we have currently 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And then we'll add 60, so we'll have 89. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. So that's their envelope and that takes care of food and treats and nail trims and vet visits and things like that. So that's that envelope. Entertainment was empty and we're putting 100 in here. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And that's for the next couple weeks. And piano Andrew has because we're paying the piano teacher today, but we did take out cash for that. And then, like I said, household is totally empty. And then anything that's left is what we have for groceries for the next couple weeks. So let's see. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. 20, 40, 60. So, so 360, so he spent 100 um, today on groceries. So let me double check that. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 2. 20, 40, 60, 80, 3. 20, 40, 60, yeah. So 360 for the next couple weeks, but that takes care of that one. And that's all of our cash envelopes. Those are our paycheck budgets for the next few weeks. I will be very excited to make that big extra car payment later this month, and I will definitely update you guys on the balance and everything like that but it's really fun making those big extra payments. We um, haven't received all of the miscellaneous income we've been expecting, so we did get our federal income tax return, and we were able to 
put like our buffer in our checking account, get miscellaneous savings where we wanted it to be. We put some extra in our emergency fund. Um, and then we're still waiting on our check from our builder for our buyout because there were issues with our floor. I've talked about that in numerous videos. Um, but basically this happened with like almost the whole neighborhood. They did not install our floors correctly and they give you an option of fixing them or offering you a buyout. A lot of our neighbors have chosen to go with the buyout route to hire someone else to install the floors because there are horror stories of like the builder coming back out and like fixing fixing the floors and then there it continues to be issues. So we're waiting for that um, and then we haven't received our state return yet and then we also are waiting on a couple reimbursement type of deals. So um, we're still waiting for all that to come in but we're, we did meet with our financial advisor um, about the car and we decided to not pay off the car. So I mentioned this in previous videos, but with the combination of the miscellaneous income we've had coming in, we got a very large tax return, which is nice. And then also with, you know, what we already had in savings and stuff, if we compiled everything, we'd have enough to pay off our vehicle that we're working on paying off right now. And after meeting with our financial advisor, we have decided to not do that. Um, we have decided to put a chunk of money into a high yield savings account to kind of counteract the interest that happens with the car. So that's what we're gonna do. And we mainly decided to do that because summer tends to be a slower season. With the business, we're kind of in flux with Andrew finding work and things like that. And so the safer option right now is just to kind of keep liquid cash on hand. If we put it all towards the car, we would be very much so down a bunch of liquid cash, which I feel like right now in this season, with our current state of the economy and just things like that, we are better off just keeping that money ready to go and just trying to put extra to the car as much as possible. Andrew has gotten updates, by the way, about a job. So he met with a head pro at a local golf course and uh, he said that there's a good chance there will be a position available and actually today he sent a link to Andrew to apply for a position. Sorry, I had to reset my camera, but he sent Andrew a link to apply for a position and so it sounds like they're going through the formalities of applying and Andrew may start working there very, very soon. Uh, we are still hoping for Costco because Costco has great benefits and that would be really huge for us. So, um, but Andrew's thinking right now that he could potentially do both because at the golf course, he would be needed probably in the early morning and then at Costco, he could work nights. So he would be working two different jobs, get benefits, things like that. And what we're hoping is to be able to put the majority of his income towards the car um, and help use that to help pay it off faster. So that is very exciting. So prayers that you know that all works out and everything Andrew's really excited to work at this golf course he loves it he's played there quite a bit and um yeah it just sounds like it went really really well so he's excited and he's thinking about kind of going down that path as far as like a more official career he's thinking more about you know, becoming a head pro and going through the PGA program and just different things like that. So I'm really excited for him. Um, I think that'll be really great and all of that. So, um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at with everything. Not going to pay the car off. We're just going to hold on to the cash for now and just kind of keep chipping away at it as quickly as we can and get some money in the high yield savings account. And then Andrew's going to continue to work toward work towards getting a job and it's sounding like this one at the golf course is very promising and then Costco the latest that he heard was that they probably were not going to hire until the fall when it gets to be like the busy holiday season so um, we're expecting him to probably not start there until October um, maybe September but probably sometime in October but um, that sounds really promising too. If they had a position now, they told him. If they had a position now, they would take him back right away, but they just don't at the moment. So hopefully very soon. And um, yeah, I'm just excited for him. I think it'll be really great. It's gonna be an adjustment for sure as a family. Like, it's gonna be an adjustment. <laughs> but um, 
it's it'll be good I think it'll be really good for him he's been really itching to get back to work for a while now and um, so I think it'll be good for our family but Anyways, um, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed all the little updates and everything and seeing me put together our paycheck budgets for the month and our cash envelopes. I will check in every Friday throughout the month, let you know how everything is going and we'll probably put that big extra payment to the car during the second pay period of May. So that'll be super fun. Um, but I hope that you guys are all set to go for May yourselves. Let me know what you are working on financially in the month of May. And if you are all ready to go, if you have your budget set, ready to go. And yeah, that's it for this one. So I will see you tomorrow morning. I will be online chatting away with you guys for the live premiere for the digital plan with me. So I hope you're able to join me there. It's at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time right here on YouTube. So if you're able to join us, definitely do that. So until then, I will chat with you all later. Bye, guys. Bye.